The stars were no match for the more massive black holes. For the first time, astronomers observed a collision between a black hole and a neutron star, and then 10 days later, they discovered another one. Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we will be taking a look at how a black hole devoured a neutron star. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Black holes and neutron stars are two of the universe's densest, most extreme objects and they both begin as massive stars. When these stars run out of fuel, they explode as red supergiants. Following that, the stars either shrink into neutron stars or collapse into black holes depending on their original mass. Albert Einstein predicted more than a century ago that the movement of massive objects in the universe would cause tiny ripples in the fabric of space-time known as gravitational waves. He also predicted that those waves would be undetectable. Scientists at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory proved Einstein right and wrong in 2015 when they recorded gravitational waves caused by two black holes merging, earning them the Nobel Prize in Physics. Scientists have detected gravitational waves from more black hole mergers and mergers between pairs of neutron stars since then, but never between a black hole and a neutron star until now. Scientists have discovered evidence of two such collisions using data collected by the LIGO and the Virgo interferometers in Italy. Both events were discovered in January 2020. The first occurred approximately 900 million light years away from Earth while the second occurred approximately a billion light years away. Astronomers were unable to detect any light from the collisions, implying that the black holes devoured their respective neutron stars whole. These were not events in which black holes munched on neutron stars like the Cookie Monster and flung bits and pieces around, Patrick Brady, a LIGO scientific collaboration spokesperson, said in a press release. That flinging about is what would produce light, he continued and we don't think that happened in these cases. Binary star systems in which two stars orbit the same point in space abound in the universe. It stands to reason that some of those pairs would die and merge into one black hole and one neutron star, but astronomers have never observed such a pair. They know the events are rare but possible now that they've detected these two collisions. It's an incredible milestone for the nascent field of gravitational wave astronomy, Monash University study co-leader Rory Smith said in a press release. The merging of neutron stars and black holes is one of the most extreme phenomena in the universe, he continued. Watching these collisions opens up new avenues for learning about fundamental physics and how stars are born, live, and die. So how exactly did it happen? LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, has been looking for these rumblings for more than 20 years as predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. For years, the observatory's laser beams in Hanford, Washington and Livingston, Louisiana detected nothing. Then, in September 2015, both LIGO locations saw the long-awaited ringing of gravitational waves. Those waves were created by the collision of two stellar-sized black holes, rips in the space-time fabric caused by the most massive stars exploding as supernovas at the end of their lives. The two black holes circled each other, getting closer and closer until they finally joined into one. LIGO detected the collision of two neutron stars two years later. The burnt-out remnants of stars more massive than the Sun but not massive enough to collapse into black holes. Most of the gold and silver in the universe is the result of such collisions. Astronomers were able to pinpoint the part of the sky where the explosion occurred using Virgo, a similar but smaller European gravitational wave observatory located in Italy, and a series of telescopes were then able to detect light particles ranging from radio waves to X-rays emanating from that fireball. Astronomers had long expected to find a neutron star orbiting a black hole, but they had never found one in nearly half a century of searching our Milky Way galaxy. In effect, Dr. Brady explained, we've had this mystery question, how come we've never seen a neutron star black hole system? Two gravitational wave detections in 2019 appear to have finally captured this elusive astronomical quarry. However, one of them in April 2019 did not stand up to scrutiny. It could have been the rumblings of a black hole neutron wave collision, or it could have just been random and meaningless jiggles in imperfect data. We believe it's unlikely that was an astrophysical signal, Dr. Brady said, so it sort of sits there as one of these things that could be, but we don't have enough evidence to say it was right now. The second detection on August 14, 2019, is still a mystery. The larger object in the collision was without a doubt a black hole. The smaller one weighed 2.6 times as much as the Sun. That is larger than any neutron star ever discovered and smaller than any black hole ever discovered. Astronomers are still debating whether the object was a neutron star or a black hole. The new gravitational wave observations demonstrate unequivocally that these pairs do exist, 
albeit far from the Milky Way. On January 5, 2020, the first detection of a neutron star merging with a black hole occurred. Because the Hanford-Washington facility was temporarily unavailable, the signal was detected in Livingston, Louisiana. Corroboration was provided by the Virgo detector in Italy, which picked up a faint signal. Astrophysicists were able to determine the properties of colliding objects in the far reaches of the universe by studying changes in the frequency of gravitational waves. The black hole was approximately nine times the mass of the Sun. The neutron star was smaller, but still approximately twice the mass of the star that our planet orbits. The collision happened about 900 million light years away from Earth. The Hanford site reopened on January 15, 2020, and all three instruments detected the second collision of a black hole and a neutron star. This one was slightly further away. Both items were a little lighter. The neutron star had a mass about 1.5 times that of the Sun, and the black hole had a mass about six times that of the Sun. In contrast to the 2017 collision of two neutron stars, telescopes were able to detect any light particles from the explosions. The black holes appear to have been large enough to quickly swallow the neutron stars, reducing the possibility of detectable emissions. The collisions, according to Alessandro Bonanno, director of the Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics in Potsdam, Germany, and a member of the LIGO science team, fit with what they expected to find. Not something that comes as a surprise, she said. Astrophysicists were able to discern evidence of black holes tearing neutron stars apart before swallowing them. The tidal forces of a black hole on a neutron star would reveal the neutron star's diameter, which would then reveal what it was made of. However, as more such collisions are observed, patterns will emerge, increasing the chances of discerning more details. We really hope this happens in the future, said Susanna A. Marca, a LIGO scientist at Columbia University's Columbia Astrophysics Laboratory. Will the incredible cosmic laboratory reveal anything about the inner workings of a neutron star? One of the unanswered questions, according to Dr. Brady, is why no black hole neutron pairs have been discovered in the Milky Way. It's possible that the search techniques were flawed, or that the pairs merged quickly and there were no more in our galaxy. That's really the open question right now, he said. Virgo is being upgraded to increase its sensitivity. The next round of LIGO and Virgo observations is set to begin in June of next year. A third gravitational wave detector is being installed in Japan, and another LIGO instrument is planned for India. In the coming years, astronomers may be detecting gravitational wave events, including much fainter ones, at a stunning rate of one per day, according to Giovanni Losurdo research director at the Institute for Nuclear Physics in Italy and Virgo spokesman. We expect rotating neutron stars to emit periodic gravitational waves, but we haven't yet detected them, said Dr. Lasurdo. We anticipate that exploding star supernovae will emit gravitational waves, but we have yet to detect them. There will be some surprises as well, sources that have not yet been predicted, that, but that we can discover using gravitational waves, Dr. Lasurdo explained. They belong to the dark universe. We had questions about the universe that we had been asking since we first looked up into the night sky when NASA began 60 years ago. In the six decades since, NASA, along with international partners and thousands of researchers, has used a full fleet of telescopes and satellites to expand our understanding of the universe. NASA scientists have been studying the evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present, from the early probes of the 1950s and 60s to the great telescopes of the 1990s and 21st century. Surely with daily advancement in technology, new discoveries will be revealed sooner than later. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.